Anyway, <laughs> before we go crazy, I just want to put, point out a few of the parts on a wood plane like this. Uh, and that way you can pick me up um, when I get them all wrong in a bit. So basically what we've got, we've got a cast iron body, which all the rest of the bits basically uh, are fitted to. This is a knob or front handle, uh, and this is known as the rear handle or tote. It's usually made of uh, nice wood, but you can get plastic ones in the more modern. Then you've got a collection of metal bits there. You've got the um, cam, or sometimes called the cam lever. Um, this is called the lever cap, which basically uh, covers the, uh, which is called the chip breaker just there. And I'll show you that when I take it out. Then you've got the iron, which is actually just a blade. This is main, uh, held in by a screw just there. This little lever here is called the lateral adjustment lever. It moves the blade left to right. And this one called, is called the depth adjustment lever, which moves the blade up and down. So basically, that is the basics. Oh, this bit down here is called the mouth, uh, just so they know. Um, so there's a few parts. Uh, so as I'm taking them apart, I can tell you what they are. And then basically, I'll probably get them wrong. <laughs> you know, it, it is one of the things I do. And uh, you can pick me up on it later. Then that's a nice little brass. So that'll come up nice. So I'm going to start stripping it down right away. So first of all, what you want to do is just, and that's quite tight, but it's, it's kind of all right. Remove that screw, and there it is. The lever cap. As you can see just on there, it says union, and there's the, that secures it against the iron. So put that in a clean, dry, safe place. You can then remove the, uh, the chip breaker, which basically breaks up, curls and breaks up the shave, um, the shaving. And that is held on by that screw there. And this is the iron or blade. And you can see they're almost exactly aligned. Almost exactly aligned. Just a couple of mil just there. And we'll remove that screw. No, we won't. Yes, we will, like so. And just slide that up and pop it out. You can see there's some dust just inside there. So there's three parts removed already. What we then need to do is remove these two screws here, which hold this part onto the cast iron base. So, I just, and these are going to be tight. No, they're not. Remove that screw. I should say bolt, really, shouldn't I? Remove that bolt. That becomes loose. And we can place that down like so. Now we've got to remove the two handles, the front one and the rear one, and these ones are held on once again by screws just in there. And that one feels a bit crumbly. Mm, I don't like the feel of that one at all. And it's come off quite nice. A lot of rust in there, as you can see. And there's a lot of dust in this one. Uh, okay, I might have to dig that out a little bit. Okay, give me two minutes. I'm just going to dig that a little bit and see how we get on. While we're waiting for that screw to soften a little bit, I'll put some WD-40 on it. It is really rusty and really tight in there. I might have to leave it on. Let's have a look at what we've got. As you can see, that was painted black at one time, and as you can tell by the back, there's a thick, a thick coat of black paint. So, yeah, that's going to be painted black again, so that needs taking down. Let's have a look at the blade. Or the iron, it's still quite nice. You can see where it's been exposed up there, and you can see where the uh, lever cap's been on it. So that's looking not too bad at all. So, okay, with that, we'll give that a clean. This is the chip breaker, and as you can see, it's actually curled at the bottom there. The blade fits in there, and that's curled, and that allows the shaving to curl up. So that looks okay. Plenty of patina on the top there and dust. There is some black paint there, um, but I don't think that would have been painted. That's been blued. So we'll just clean that on, press blue that again. And now we've got the, uh, the this is the frog. Uh, let me just remove these two bolts and put them in a safe place in that dish there. Um, 
this is a fairly complicated bit of machinery or well, it looks complicated you've got the retaining screw there the lateral adjustment lever and the height adjustment lever which is held by this sort of horseshoe shaped affair there that will come out i'm pretty sure about that and we can clean that up that was also painted black so that will be black once again apart from this bit down there we'll leave that and give that a polish it's and caked in old dust so that's good i had trouble getting this out it's fairly rough to be fair at the bottom um i'm not too worried about the screw but i'll pop that out and clean it up i won't go crazy on this um what i will do i'll just take off the the paint i'll take off the oil i'll take off the wear um a little bit of a sanding and then i'm just going to wax it um i'm not going to go crazy but you can see where it's been worn quite a bit there i should imagine whoops that's where the perhaps a guy has been you know holding it in some way like so you can see with the wear you've been holding it like that perhaps that's where it's been bumped around a fair bit but we'll clean that up um let's have a look how that screw's getting on this is the bolt that slipped through the rear tote or rear handle whichever you want to call it and you can see actually yes it is rusty but look how rough the thread is it's not exactly what you'd call fine work really is it quite a rough thing but then again it's only needed to hold it on nice shape conical shape to the head there which fits into the tote um that came out fairly easy needed knocking out i'll clean that up um i'm still having difficulty with the other one for the front um taking some work that is to be fair well i've cleaned up the uh the tote i've managed to get pretty much i think every speck of paint off it's a lovely piece of wood it's got some right dense though i mean some proper i mean look at that that is like proper dense really quite deep but the best i can do i think i'll let it dry i've had some degrease on it it was actually covered in grease i will let it dry uh overnight <clears throat> see how we get on with that see how it dries give it a sanding i think just a light sanding and then i'm debating because it's sort of a two-tone what to do with it um i may just give it a i don't know clear wax once it's all cleaned up um we'll see we'll see how it goes just a light stain perhaps okay let's see how we get on with that so i couldn't get the front handle off um the screw is getting ruined so i decided to leave it on well, I had no choice. I had no choice to be fair, and I've taped it up. I've primed the cast iron body apart from the sides, and I'm now painting it in a sort of a gloss paint that it was originally painted in. It took me ages to get that paint off. I had to get it off though because at the end of the day it was chipped and it was thicker. There were some other different colours on there where paint had been spilled. There was purple paint and red paint and white paint on the handle. So that all had to come off, basically. So I've just started painting it, and obviously I'm going to have to leave it overnight. Um, this, it's brightened up a little bit here, so I'm going to have a shower, pop out, have a walk around, go to the pub, and have some, uh, probably a late lunch or an early dinner. But something substantial anyway. Um, so it's coming along, yeah. Um... I'm just polishing up the brass bit and I'll show you that in a sec. Just a slight interruption to this uh, video. I um, went to the first big car boot sale yesterday. Um, lovely, lovely array of tools. I mean, old second-hand tools, absolutely stacks and stacks. But they'd been out since like half oh, four, five o'clock or whatever. And it was so cold yesterday. It was no cold. It was no temperature to be looking through steel tools, to be fair. So I managed to pick a few up. Um, I picked up another one of these spoke shaves. It's funny because you don't see them very often, and suddenly I've seen three. Um, a raybone rule in inches, fold out. It is a bit stiff, so I'm going to give that some uh, TLC. A auto wrench, as the Americans call it, made in England, but I can't see any other name on it. Another one of these, uh, Scribe. This one looks like a dark wood. 
And my favourite of all of the day, a large made in England snail brand large or orange. Fair bit bigger than that one. So yeah, um the 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 plane is coming on. Uh, obviously I've been very busy this week and um yeah it is. Uh, probably finish it tomorrow which is going to be the Tuesday I'll have the video on on the Tuesday I'm flying to Spain on Wednesday so yeah as you can see there's things in a bit of a there's a little pile of spanners there I'm sorting through bits and dabs that's the tour hall from the other day I've yet to sort through um, this was the the Swedish one inch chisel which is quite nice so that might be going for sale and that will probably pay for the whole lot uh, so yeah here we go I'm you know it's a very busy time I'm trying to get things done before I go to Spain um, here is the notebook I've cleaned it up a little bit and I've had it drying out in front of a heater it was quite damp um, but I haven't had a chance to look through it yet look at that. unbelievable 10 stone 11 pounds Concrete limit lintels weight. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? Oh dear. Homework. Find the value of five percent of an acre. Turned out to be what? Turned out to be two hundred and forty-two square yards. I must have a good look through this one of the days. But anyway, that's just an aside. Um, this is just an interjection to this video. So I'll speak to you guys later. After a prolonged period of time, oh man, yeah, so busy this week, crazy. Um, I'm, I'm going to Spain tomorrow and I've just left everything to the last minute I haven't packed. I've just done my Spanish locator form and uh, printed off this, that and the other. Um, phew, flipping on, man. I've had to go to the post office, the bank, you name it, man. I've had to, I've had to do it. But I, I always leave things too late. Uh, there you go. At least I ain't going to Ukraine, which is the main thing. Uh, God bless them. So, yeah, there it is. It's done. It looks a bit better. Um, it's a lot cleaner. Uh, it's been painted. Um, not the best work I've ever done, admittedly. Um, I'm not totally happy with it. Um, yeah, it looks okay. But anyway, there you go. Um, I'll send you a video from Spain if you ever want to look at it, watch me enjoy myself. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me in my workshop. I've loved every minute of it. Um, thanks for looking at the tool hall last week. There's definitely some things coming up from that. And um, subscribe, like, tell your friends, and um, have a great week and a great weekend. Um, I'm off to the sun. It's too cold in UK at the moment, so I'll be back in a week or so. Bye.